The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored on behalf of California Prunes by Veronica Rouse Consulting. February is Heart Health Month, and one simple snack can make a huge difference in your well-being. Last week, Brad spoke with dietitian Veronica Rouse about why prunes should be a go-to item in your diet. February is Heart Health Month and making it perfect time to spotlight California prunes as a heart-friendly food. And here to tell us how we can enjoy California prunes in different yummy ways is registered dietitian Veronica Rouse. And Veronica, I have to say, prunes have always been my grandparents' food, you know? We always yeah. hear about that. But that's not the case, is it? No, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. I'm excited to partner with California Prunes for this segment to talk all about how we can add California Prunes to enhance our heart health in everyday dishes. Yeah. All right, let's, let's first, what is a prune? So everybody understands what a prune is. <laughs> well, it is a plum that's dried, but it's not just that. It is um, well, yeah, I guess that's what it is. It is yeah. a dried fruit prune. <laughs> that, that's very helpful. But the great thing about it is that it's yummy. It's good for you. And we have some great dishes here we're going to talk about that are easy to make with the prunes to give you that extra, uh, like, I guess, sweetness to your dishes, right? Exactly. You got it. So I like it. Okay. So let's talk, of course, why it's important to have these prunes in your life. Mm -hmm. So these California prunes are very high in fiber. So about a quarter of a cup, maybe that's four or five prunes, has less than 100 calories, but three grams of fiber. And we know that fiber is great to help with our gut health, our blood sugar, but also can help lower our cholesterol levels. And then these California prunes are also rich in a mineral called potassium, and potassium is great to manage blood pressure. It does the exact opposite of sodium. So I'm sure you've heard you need to restrict sodium to help manage blood pressure. Well, you can actually add potassium through foods like California prunes to help manage blood pressure as well. I like it. All right, let's talk about some things we can make with them because, again, I just noticed my, my grandparents just popping them right and left, but no, not anymore because I've got to, you know, give them a try. So the first one is, what is this? These are like energy balls? Exactly. Yeah, so they're energy balls or protein balls, and typically when you see recipes um, about these energy balls, they're usually made with dates. So you blend dates in the food press processor to make it like nice and sticky so they stick together. But what I've done is I replaced the dates with prunes for this recipe. I like that. And then, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a great way to add those heart healthy nutrients. And then I added almond flour as well as almond butter and a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness. So there you go. So no one even know that they were in there. I, that's awesome. You got it. Okay, let's talk breads. So this is something that everyone likes to nibble on, especially as we are enjoying watching some TV or something. And, and of course, why not have healthy prunes? You got it. Exactly. So um, banana breads. Well, let's start with bananas. Bananas are another potassium rich food to help manage blood pressure. And when they get brown, we like to bake with them or I encourage you to bake with them. And banana bread's a really easy thing to throw together. Everybody has a typical banana bread recipe they use, but what I encourage is to maybe dice up some prunes, add them to your banana bread for a, like a nice sweet uh, treat. I like that. Okay, salads, mm -hmm. this is what I'm big on. And I never thought about putting prunes in my salad to give it a little taste, huh? Exactly, yeah, I thought I would feature a little savory dish. And this is with beets, broccoli, some low saturated fat cheese, which is feta. And then I added that sweet flavor through some diced prunes, um, as well as a nice crunch with the walnuts. There you go. And the dressing, very important when you put the dressing on, you don't want to mess that up. What kind of dressing do you recommend? Exactly. You've got it. Extra virgin olive oil. I always start with every dressing that way for heart health. It's really great for our cholesterol. And then add some vinegar. I used apple cider vinegar here. And yeah, it's really simple recipe, just a few ingredients, but tastes great. Good for dinner, but also you could serve this for guests as well. Really pretty dish. Oh, there it is. And that's, I love it. That's it. So something nice and easy. So this is it. so incredible. So I, I love this, Veronica. So where can we find more about, of course, the California prunes and you? 
Yeah, so you can find all three of these recipes on my website, theheartdietitian.com. But I do encourage you to check out californiaprunes.org website because they have hundreds of recipes and different creative ways to incorporate these prunes. And like you said, not just popping them in your mouth, but put them in your dishes and have some fun with them. I like it. Hey, Veronica, thank you very much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me back. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored on behalf of California Prunes by Veronica Rouse Consulting.